Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do a blade battle today. And, um, it's going to be a tough one, guys. So, we're going to do a battle to the death between the CKF Evo 2.0. This is the carbon fiber uh, variant with the black wash bark pattern, um, black side and the belt satin on the blade and then the medford slim mini coming in hot with pvd coated blade oh pvd coated handle a tanto uh that is tumbled and uh some uh anno on the clip and the hardware and yeah guys man this is I've been wanting to do this video, but I'm just afraid to do this video. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we'll see what happens here. They're very comparable. That's why I wanted to do this. Um, if you look at them side by side, they're almost identical in every freaking size imaginable. Uh, measurement, I mean, imaginable. Clothes length like this. Uh, thickness, the uh, Slim Midi definitely has that one by a bit, but... Then when you open them, I mean, blade length, uh, overall, it's just very, very similar. They both have holes for deployment as basically the only opening method. Technically, you can do this and front flip the Evo, but nobody really does it because it hurts like a son bitch. Um, and I guess technically, no, they both have the uh, blade stops. So you can uh, flip them both open with the blade stops. I guess it works a lot easier left-handed with the Slim Mini. Maybe I'm just messed up right now. I don't know. But you can also just use the fuller to flick it like that. So uh, they're very similar, guys. What I wanted to do was just do a little intro face-to-face. -face, go down uh, tabletop for the battle. And then maybe come back up here to uh, discuss the winner. And guys, it's going to be interesting. I mean, they're both relatively, again, the same size, shape, all that shit. A uh, weight, you know, not much difference. Uh, form factor in the pocket. They're both uh, right-hand carry only. Um, they're both non-deep carry. I mean, they're so similar. Um, and action-wise, it's, it's similar, but a little different, right? You have some differences there. Price-wise, they're literally the same. I mean, I think it was a $15 difference retail for these. Obviously, materials is a different subject we'll get into. Um, in terms of my personal preference, these are both in my top five. Probably, at this point, both in my top three. Um, you know, I have the uh, F5.5, which actually is in my pocket today. Um I have the haptic, the Holt haptic, and these two in my top five. I, I don't even know what the fifth knife would be. Oh, the Malibu I get. I almost never carry it anymore, but I do really love it. Um, but yeah, like top three, guys, you know, I'll say it. They're both top three. Whether that pushes the F5.5 or the haptic out, I don't care, but I carry... Uh, fidget with, uh, just hold and, and look at, you know, admire these two knives more than any in my collection, you know. This was out on loan for a little while, so I've just gotten it back for the last few days, and oh, I'm so glad. And the Haptic is out right now on loan, so, you know, uh, that would probably be in the mix for carry time as well. Uh, but it's just, it's baffled me to where, like, I never thought the Slim Midi would become such a favorite of mine. And I knew I would like the Evo 2.0. Well, I didn't know ergonomically or if it would work left-handed, but I knew I loved the look. I knew I wanted one. You know, I, I thought it was an awesome knife right off the bat. This, not so much. I just, I dove in. You know, I ordered one from Medford. This is my second one of these, and I've had three of these. So, again, it's just like... 
It's so hard. I, trying to pick a winner right now would be impossible. Um, I really can't. I I, I, I want to lean Evo because, like, being somebody who, you know, is in the community and everything, I know, you know, 90% of people watching this are going to say Evo 2.0 probably, right? Um, but I'm a 10%er, right? I'm a lefty, and um, this Medford's so fucking good. So I just don't know, guys. Um, you know, let me know in the comments which one you would pick and why. Uh, if you have both, you know, I'd love to hear why. Um, hit me up and let me know. Leave a comment, whatever. Uh, let's take this down to the desktop and get this battle going. Are you ready to rumble? All right, guys, here we go. This is the Clash of the Titans. <laughs> here we go, motherfuckers. All right, real quick, up close look at each. This is your Medford Slim Midi PVD coated titanium handles, standoffs, clip, hardware, pivot, all uh, anodized, some weird ass color. It kind of has a little bit of a bronzy, rusty kind of color to it. Um, then you have your blade right here, three and a half inches, 3.25 cutting edge, tumbled. S35 VN steel with a compound grind. You have a hollow and a flat. It is very, very slicey. Very well done on bearings. All right, $645. You have the CKF Custom Knife Factory Evo 2.0 here. Carbon fiber, look at that. I don't know what they call it. Cool carbon fiber, I call it shred carbon fiber black wash titanium you have a three and a half inch probably again 3.25 cutting edge uh, this is an m sorry m390 this is with a hollow grind that is absolutely thinner than my ball sack that made no sense and uh it has a jared neve polished edge on it absolutely stunning on multi-row bearings there you go 630 retail for that guy okay so might as well skip right to that price all right so let's do this right here m for medford e for evo all right price they each get a point right or eh, do i do yeah i'll do points okay so i mean price is 645 Price is six thirty. I mean, that's pretty much identical. You can get this in a variation that's five hundred bucks. I think you can get this in a variation that's five ninety. I'm gonna call that comparable. Um, so, price doesn't mean value, guys. So hang in there. All right, let's start off with materials here. Again, I just went over that, right? So titanium and S thirty five VN steel ball bearings, anodized hardware, um, all that stuff. And this guy, carbon fiber, titanium, um, M390. I mean, you kidding me? Titanium backspacer. There's a variant of this that has zirconium that I had. Zirconium backspacer. Uh, what is it? Uh, Timascus or Zircutai clip um, with a freaking awesome Timascus pivot collar. Clearly, this one wins the materials category. Evo 1, Medford 0 there. Uh, perceived value. So, this is an interesting one. This is a subjective category. It's perceived value to me, I guess, is how I'm looking at this. Um, secondary market on these, they go for eight nine $900. Um, and I can see why. They're absolutely fantastic. The first one I bought was Plain Jane, 590 bucks. Then I traded that one for this one. Um, so I got this one for 590 bucks, but this goes for 630 retail. Um, and then you can get that Fancy Pants one for 670, which I won in a raffle. 
that one was actually only 35 or 50 dollars i think i spent on raffle tickets for that um and then i sold it for 700 dollars. so um i'd say the perceived value on these are very high right the Medford, on the other hand, um, I paid six forty-five for this because it has the PBD and the Anno and the Tanto. Um, those things all cost a little extra money. I would have wanted satin, and satin would have added another seventy-five bucks. Um, but I bought it from a retailer, so um, I didn't have that option. I may send it in <laughs> to get it changed to satin, and that would cost me a hundred dollars. Now, secondary market on these, they're really hard to sell guys um it's such a good knife but i feel like people don't know that or i don't know it's weird like i've seen slim midis sell you know that were 550 new or whatever 575 new and they sell for 375 like the value on these does not go up so you got to know that going in you're going to lose money on this um it's not a knife you want to buy thinking like oh if i don't like it i'll sell it now i did that because i'm an idiot and i don't care so it makes sense to give this category to the evo right and if i add in my own personal feelings guys this knife feels amazing it really does feel all of the 645 dollars i spent on it and i'm not just saying that because I spent that it just feels very very well made it has a a hand finished kind of touch to it um it's so amazing but the evo feels just as quality if not more um the freaking grind on this blade i know this is made by riot or at least the um parts were and then it was put together in russia by ckf um this carbon fire i just I got to give this category to the Evo. So, proceed value, Evo, zero, Medford. Ergos. So, this is an interesting category because a lot of people say that um, this knife melts in their hand. Like, it fits it like a glove. And I will say, when I'm in this grip back here, it fits very well in my hand. You can see um, almost nothing comes out. Everything is kind of locked in. The way my fingers enter these kind of grooves is perfect. It lands on this jimping, which to me, a lot of people complain about this. It's not very sharp or anything, so I kind of like it. Uh, this is great. When I choke up, nah, it's still really good. Like, I'm not trying to say it's not, but the area in here doesn't feel fantastic. It feels a little bit too, like, curvy, like, too hooked, if that makes sense. Um, like the way the handle is, it kind of like is too much like that. Um, but it's still fantastic ergonomically. One of the best in my collection. Um, I keep missing that on the, uh, that's me by the way. I'm just missing it with my nail or whatever. Um, anyway, ergonomically this knife, when I hold it back here, oh my God. It just melts in my hand. It feels so good because it's such a neutral handle. It's thin. Um, it's just like very, very well shaped for this, right? And then you can move up here and now you're up in this choil and it feels just as good as, if not better. And one of the amazing things ergonomically about this knife for me is that you can put your hand anywhere you want. You're not locked in. Like, so you don't have to hold it back here or up here you can hold it back here you can hold it in the middle right here and all of it feels absolutely comfortable and that's a big difference um because on this knife you're stuck back here or here you can't just hold it right here if you want to like i mean you can obviously but it feels like shit um so i gotta give the ergos to the medford i know that's a bit of a surprise to people but again this is my battle, guys. So um, you could do your own if you want to. Hold on, I'm gonna grab a sip of my Lipton Pure Leaf. All right, guys. Now we're gonna get into cutting. So it goes without saying that the fucking hollow grind on this knife is one of the best I have ever seen in my life. Now the blade stock's actually relatively thick. Um, 
but look at that it's all belly especially with this edge that tip i mean it is absolutely spectacular and it cuts like a fucking dream now the slim midi <laughs> i keep missing it the first time it's funny i even focused that time also has an absolutely astounding hollow grind now it's not as thin as this guy and the blade stock i would say is actually thinner so you can see there it actually starts off with a little bit of a thinner blade stock which definitely helps but well let me finish here you have this flat grind up front here after this secondary tip um so you have two grinds on this which is really nice i like having two edges i love tantos right now i'm really into tantos um but here's the thing even though this cuts fantastically guys don't ever let anybody tell you medfords don't cut they come razor as sharp they're very thin behind the edge i mean this thing is fantastic okay but you see where the you see where the grind starts or the edge bevel or whatever you want to call it starts i think they call this the secondary bevel and then that's the primary right i don't know if that's right but um, where this starts is right here. It's about halfway up the blade. Now, even though the blade stock is thinner on the Slim Midi, you see where this one starts? Way up here, even at the top down here, right? And this whole section is bevel. And it gives it so much time to come down to that absolutely stupid thin edge and um, unlike other hollows, it's not going to get super thick, super quick. This might, um, but this won't. So cutting goes to the Evo. Carry. All right, so this is an interesting one as well. Well, I'm just going to keep saying that, I guess. Um, this one has a fantastic clip. I love to carry it. Um, I like to carry it in my front left pocket, my back uh, left pocket, either way works for me. Doesn't have a flipper or anything sticking out, so I'm not afraid of it, like popping open in my pocket or something. Um, it does have these blade stops, but um, not an issue. It's not heavy at all, guys. The weight on this is fantastic. I'd say it's a little lighter than the Slim Mini. This is probably four ounces. This is probably three and a half, um, which is absolutely fantastic for a three and a half inch i mean monster like this right um in your pocket feels good but it is a little bit bulky guys um even though they're relatively the same width i would think that let's see if i can line these up the evo is just a little bit taller right and a little bit fatter and um this clip works fantastically in pocket. I will say I had to bend it when I got it because it would kind of sit off of the scale a little bit. So I just took it off, bent it, like literally took two seconds, put it back on. Um, and my other one came perfect. So um, clip goes in and out of pocket, really. It's just a simple clip. They didn't go crazy. They didn't try to be cool or anything. And it fucking works. Front left pocket, back left pocket, no problem. Um, the only negative on this one is, I will say, I guess the retention in your pocket sort of feels like it's loose. Like if I got flipped upside down in my car or something, like maybe this would fall out of my pocket. I don't think that would actually happen. It's just kind of a sensation you get. Um, but the fact that it's so thin, I mean, you can see compared to a bug out, like it is almost bug out thin. Like, this thing is absolutely a slim midi, and that makes it so much more carryable. It just disappears in my pocket, and this I know is in my pocket. I try to reach past it. Like, there's just certain things carrying it. So the Medford is the winner on carry. Uh, and they both have the same kind of clip, like non-deep carry, um, about the same amount sticking out, all that good stuff. I do like the length of this clip. And that will come into play in terms of uh, action. At least it does for this knife. Really helps me as a lefty um, having that long clip to rest my finger on. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. 
Sounds interesting. Okay, <laughs> see, I told you I'd say it every time. This is a tough one, guys. Um, let me start with the Slim Midi. Do you hear that crack out of there? I mean, it just sounds amazing. And you get this little ting when it closes up. Oh, it just sounds so good, guys, when it thwacks out. I absolutely love the sound of that knife coming out. Um, I could not mistake it anywhere. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. On camera, I guess. Um, I never have that problem off camera. That's what she said or he said. Um, so the sounds on this are spectacular, guys. Now, for the Evo. <sighs> But this is the best sound you're going to get with the Evo when you use the, um, the blade stop and flick it. It sounds good. And on the close, has a nice little ting. I will say the ting on the close on the Evo is better than the ting on the Medford. Mainly because this one drop slower right you have to shake it down this just drops so it has more force more sound but the opening sound on this is just not as good as that and i know that's going to be controversial because if you have an all titanium version of this it definitely sounds better than this it sounds similar but has a more like thunderous crack to it I had two of the, um, the other versions are both all titanium, and I had them. And when you did this, oh my god, it made the sexiest sound ever. And that was one of the hardest parts of uh, trading for, the, for this one, and then selling the other one, because I loved the sound. But I valued the lightweight and look of the carbon fiber over that sound. So if I had a different version of this, it would definitely win, but I don't. So the Medford wins. Aesthetics. Oh, shit. Guys, oh, fuck me running. So, uh, closed. I think this looks stunning. Absolutely love the look of this, especially this particular one with this Anno and that kind of rustish bronze in there. Um, I love this PBD. It's like gray PBD. It looks amazing. And then that blade sticking out with the little slots. You have the um, blade stops, that clip. Of course, I scratched it, but the clip, with the Anno on it. Normally, I'm not an Anno guy, but the way they just put it in like here and there, they didn't go nuts with it. It looks fantastic. And then when it's open, oh my goodness, guys. This Tanto just makes me, you know, uh, I'd love to get a mirror edge on this. I got to get somebody to do that. It just looks absolutely stunning. I mean, I, I love this knife so much. And a lot of it is the looks. I mean... And this is going to be a take it or leave it, guys. You're either going to love this or hate it, right? Let me place this down. The Evo 2.0. Holy shit, guys. When I first saw this knife, I thought it looked ugly as fuck. And I said so. And the more I saw it, I just started falling in love with it, right? Um, when this knife is closed, it looks mean, right? just looks like it's ready to come out and fucking eat your face off with this hole right here and that blade stop the big ass pivot um this giant ass clip that bark pattern and then you open the bitch up and you see that blade that absolutely ridiculous sheep's foot all these swells and everything this fucking carbon fiber is absolutely disgusting the pill-shaped hole, the fucking jimping up here. I've always said it looks like a dinosaur from that show, Dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, not the mommy. Not the mama. Um, oh, my goodness, guys. These are both absolutely 
sex machines. Like, I love them both so much. I could not choose if you made me choose between them. Like, ah, uh, fuck. I have to, though. I can't give a tie for aesthetics. I think as much as I love the Medford, and goddamn do I love it, guys. Mm, it's just so unique and so awesome. Uh, fuck, but I love the Medford. Look at that PVD. Look at that Tanto, my goodness. Shit. Uh, all right, it's going to the Evo. Aesthetics going to the Evo. I gotta do it. This fucking blade. Oh my goodness, look at that blade shape. Oh man, if this was a satin, oh, if it was a satin finished blade, I don't know. It might be the winner, actually. All right. Fit and finish. Interesting. Okay. Fit and finish. Let's start with the Evo, guys. This is a very nice looking piece. That bark pattern on there is absolutely just disgusting. It is so good. That carbon fiber, I don't see any voids in there. I mean, unless you call those like micro voids, the little mini dots you see in there, but come on. Um... The freaking grind work on this, that hollow grind, and then you have the stone wash on the flats, the belt satin on the grind down here. Um, it's just so fucking well done. The jimping is not sharp. It's, I mean, it's so key, guys. Um, but there's a big negative with this knife, guys. It has a fucking free spinning pivot and only has tooling on one side. If you have seen my epic fail video about the Evo 2.0, and that was me talking about myself, not the knife when I say epic fail. If you Loctite this, or they Loctite it from factory, uh, you need to be careful, because you may not get it open without a soldering iron or some technique um, that is a huge negative, in my opinion, is the way they did that spinning pivot in there. And they're going to change it for the Evo 3.0, so that tells you right there. They know. Um, other than that issue, the fit and finish on this knife is absolutely spectacular. One more thing I will note is it is sharp up here on the spine of the blade right here. All the way down to the tip. I don't know if you can see it, but my skin's getting picked up there it's sharp on both sides i really wish they would have you know chamfered it like they did up here or something um but those are the only two things i can pick out the medford again absolutely spectacular um it is put together extremely well um no like i just i don't see a scratch a dink a dent i don't see any freaking issues with this thing now the pivot you know i could take it apart with this new pivot they have i don't know what it would take but obviously i could um they don't really recommend you take apart their knives um i mean look at the grind on this i mean hand finished right um just absolutely stunning piece fabulously put together uh on bearings I mean, it's a killer freaking fit and finish job here. Dead centered. Both of these are dead centered. Um, and they both have varying detents. I've had three of these. Every detent was different. That was another reason I kept this one. It has the strongest detent of all the three I had. This one luckily came with the relatively strong detent. Um, which is what I, I prefer. Not strong, but, like, just strong enough to flick it the fuck out and not, like, just be a slow roller, you know? This is a tough one, guys. I, I really don't know where to go. Um, I absolutely love Riot's fit and finish, um, but that pivot is just bog bothering me right now. Um, uh, I think... I think I, is it, that's a design issue though, right? Like having the 
it, the lock face stick out there a little bit and then having the detent track on there that's a um that's a design issue that's not fit and finish but i get it's gonna come down to the blade guys i just think this tumbled finish is just not nearly as nice as this felt satin of course it has my fingerprints and it has that milky chalky aspect to it but i mean and the carbon fiber i'm just gonna give it to the evo guys that's a struggle man uh, uh, these last couple could have went either way honestly and they both went to the evo action so <laughs> uh, so oh my goodness the middle finger flick on this knife is absolutely fantastic guys Okay, sorry, I, I was making dinner, and I swear it was going to burn if I didn't run down there. So, the middle finger flick on this Medford is absolutely just to die for, guys. It is the main reason that I just rave about this knife. Left-handed, I just, I don't have to worry about anything. There's no, like... Sorry, that's just me slipping off. I don't really use that much, but I wanted to try it there. Um, there's just like no placement where I'm like at risk of locking up the lock bar or something. Um, you know, it's just so good. And then you could do the thumb flicks. Um, and then on the close, it's very smooth, but it's not like drop shutty, right? It'll drop to there, obviously. If you're right-handed, you're probably going to have... You know, it's probably going to feel a little nicer because you can do that and then just shake it down, right? Um, man, that middle finger flick is just so satisfying. Um, and then on the Evo, you have a bigger blade stop. So I will say that is a lot easier than getting behind this guy, even though... If I focus and pay attention and I'm not filming, like, I'm always going to get that. And then I have the option to use that on this, obviously, blade stop. Then I can use the hole if I want either way, right? So same thing there. The middle finger flick on this knife is good. Um, I have no qualms about it, really. I wish the detent was a little bit stronger so I could do my, like, push, 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 push thing. Um, but on this, it just kind of like would, it would just leak out if I kind of kept doing that. Um, so you kind of just let it get your finger in there and fire it. Right. Uh, whereas on this one, I like to do the push, push, you know, uh, hard to explain. I will say I, I rarely have an issue where I like lock it up or something. Cause I've learned to just be down here on this clip, but it is an issue. Like I can do it. Like I can put my finger there and then I can't flick it on this. If I put my finger right on the lock bar, I can still flick it, no problem. That is a huge plus as a lefty, guys. Um, yeah, but then the closing action on this, guys, it's just to die for. I mean, it is literally my favorite closing action on a knife, I'm pretty sure. Maybe the haptic, but this thing's just so violent and like, you know, it's just, it's so cool. Um, so if there was a, <sighs> shit, if there was a category for opening, de so deployment, the Medford would win just because the detent on this is a little lighter. It doesn't necessarily, like it flicks fine, right? I can do it. It's not an issue, but it doesn't like feel satisfying. It doesn't like thunder out, you know? Um, this, it like just cracks out. It feels so good, you know? Um, but then you have, ah, man, shit. This closing action is obviously just worlds better than this, you know? Um, so that makes me want to give it to the Evo because of that closing action. But... The deployment makes me want to give it to the Medford. Uh, which one do I enjoy playing with more? Fuck. 
you know it's really hard guys I gotta give it to the Medford <laughs> I never thought that would happen God, but this closing action is so good But even though that closing action is so much better, just that satisfying, it's going to the Medford. I, I have to do it. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. That was the last category. Um, okay. So Medford, one, two, three, four, five. Eva, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shit. Wow. Clash. Of the mother flipping titans, guys. I'm going to go back to the face view and we'll wrap this baby up. All right, guys, there you go. That was the Clash of the Titans and the Evo 2.0 is the King Kong of my knife collection right now. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I knew it was going to be a tough one. I, I knew they would battle it to the end right and that's literally what happened they battled it to the end and the medford almost came in and tied it up um and a couple of those could have went either way to be honest um if this had a satin blade on it aesthetics might have went this way and they would have tied right um oh god it's just funny to sit here and think like I, okay so Three months ago, before I had a Slim Midi, right, and I had an Evo 2.0, if you would have asked me, hey, if you did a comparison between the Evo 2.0 and a, a Medford Slim Midi, what would happen? Well, first I would have said, a fucking Medford? Why would I even have a Medford, right? And then I would have been like, the Evo is going to beat that thing into the fucking ground, right? But no, this thing held its ground, dude. I'm telling you. I know a lot of you have some kind of issue with Medford, whether it's political, the company, forget all that. Don't worry about that shit. Think about the knife, okay? And then don't think about all the knives. It's the knife, the Slim Midi, okay? Just the one knife. Um, and it comes in a drop point. I mean, if it doesn't, if the, if the look doesn't do it for you, I get it, okay? I guess that's not everybody's bag. I think it's fucking sexy. I think the Tanto's even sexier. Um, but the action, you know, and maybe you get one with a lighter detent and you have them fix it. I know, it's not the greatest, but at least you can. You know, you can't really send one of these back, you know. Um, so, I just want to say, this runner-up is an absolutely fantastic knife. It's not going anywhere, guys. Uh, in my head, these two are still neck and neck, like, and I probably, if you made me, would maybe choose the Slim Mini over the Evo, like, if I had to sell one to, you know, like, some crazy shit happened, I had no money, and I had to sell one or something, um, I, oh, God, yeah, I don't know what would happen, I'd probably just be poor and sit in the, in the dark with no water, <laughs> um, Good thing that's not happening. Um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, Slim Mini's awesome. Now, the winner, of course, was the Evo 2.0. Um, all things aside, I do think that this is probably the better knife overall. And I, you know what? It is. Just materials-wise, having the M390... Um, having this carbon fiber, it being a little more lightweight, it drops shut like that. Um, it's dead centered. I can trust Riot. Um, I, you know, there's some things I would change. I wish the detent were a little bit stiffer. I obviously wish it was left-handed. Um, the, you know, the list is pretty short. I wish it had a, a D-shaped pivot of some sort, but... It's absolutely a spectacular knife, and it deserves to be the king of my collection right now. Uh, obviously, the haptic's not here, and I don't know if I would do a comparison between this and the haptic. They're so different. Maybe that would be fun. 
to compare something that's not the same because these two were very similar right um and i you know the haptic is fantastic um, it's just flipper only, and I love to do a middle finger flick, but that flipper is really good. Anyway, um, yeah, so King of the Collection is the Evo 2.0 at this current moment. Uh, maybe we'll uh, have another Clash of the Titans at some point if a contender comes along. Um, yeah, that was really fun, guys. Um, it, again, is my not, they're my knives, it's my opinions. My experiences, you don't need to tell me how I'm wrong, and the Medford sucks, and whatever, right? Um, but I'd love to hear your opinions on what you would choose and why, not what I should have done and why, right? Um, I absolutely love you guys so much. I appreciate you sticking with me through this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later. King Kong ain't got shit on me!